Someone's in trouble. It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? Should be enough. I better get it back to the hideaway. There you are. And all safe and sound. Well, yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Here. Glorious! When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements, 
I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. I wish I could offer you some fruit too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. is complete. The furrows will need expanding. <laughs> Bahamil will not bow to the plight. Come on, Clive. Let's go to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened that night. Area. It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Rand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. That inn at the top of the hill must be Martha's Rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Look at the fuse. finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Oi! Stop and give me an hand. Here! You couldn't give me an hand, could you? 
typical. A bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. It was funny late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then, and don't go taking any detours on the way. Martha's rest. Stable master, I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. We'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards.
You barely have to step out your front. as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? The stuff was through the Golden Stables again. When he gets to East, we'll leave him in the pile. We'll take him over when the bridge is back up. And when's that gonna be? This thing always been glowing. <laughs> so much for all parts of the Empire being equal, if that's all the crystal they give us. Oh, it's not like any of us lowborn can afford a bearer anymore. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an Imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a Stratton lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have... happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. 
We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. To Eastport. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Ah, get away from me! What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. There he is. Hold on, we're coming. Don't let them get away. It's over. Give them all you've got, boy. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed. The bridge is down. If you're headed for East Pool, you'll have to wait. Oh, yesterday. I hear the levies are due to go up. Do you like that? Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. <sighs> well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They would nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. <sighs> he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. 
I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? either to the legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient, all right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favour and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey? Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The Abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. It was good, honest work. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Keep them nice and fresh. Anything catch your right? Take care out there, eh? Anything catch your right?
Thanks very much. Much obliged. decided at birth and assumed it was best for all concerned I know but for a child to be blamed to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own we knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way did we no Where do they all come from?
There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. Company. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. I... I never want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can for the time they have left. The curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should.
Thank you for bringing us the physic. Would that we were not so reliant on Martha's kindness. Turnips. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye. They're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay.
Sid. Ah, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. If you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. yeah. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. Wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no savior. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Well then, 